The traffic could be chaotic around the Canby Bridge this weekend. The city is closing it down for what organizers hope will be a massive rally and parade with a serious message. Our environment reporter Lisa Johnson has the details. There have been many hands organizing the event on Saturday, some of them pretty small, including kids from schools all over the Lower Mainland. We're making a banner for the bridge. This is the N and O of what will be a huge banner when all the pieces fit together. It will read, Canadians Care, Climate Action Now. Saturday morning, the city's going to close the northbound lanes of Canby Street Bridge to make room for the parade. Then organizers are going to drop that banner off the side of the bridge, reading Climate Action Now. The message so large you can read it from Science World. The point is to send that message to Ottawa before major climate negotiations this fall in Copenhagen. It's a way of getting everyone involved in saying that, you know, we're not happy with what's going on in the world right now and, and Canada has to play a better role in, in being a leader at the climate talks in Copenhagen. But even with a serious political message, organizers want a festival atmosphere to involve people who'd never call themselves activists. It is important to keep it positive and fun because um, for so many people this issue is just overwhelming. You know, what can I do about this and, and I don't want to go to protest and even though I'm upset and I'm I'm worried I'm not going to go stand in the streets and yell and argue. That plan has brought Vancouver City Hall on board and today a show of support from leaders in the city's cultural communities. I'm going to provoke you guys by giving a very politically incorrect thought. Why is being green so white? Let us express our, our oneness together as we march to demand our government to do something about carbon emissions. This issue directly affects me, our heritage and our passion. Similar events are happening across Canada. Vancouver starts at 11 Saturday morning. Lisa Johnson, CBC News, Vancouver.